This is my 1972 Les Paul Gold Top Deluxe. I've had it for quite a while now. I bought it uh, off of a friend of mine, maybe back in 95, somewhere around 1995. He said, you want to buy it for 500 bucks? And I said, yes, actually I do. So uh, it's been mine ever since. It just sounds really, really good. This is a really good sounding guitar. And it likes to be tuned to alternate tunings. I think it sounds better in open G. And if I do drop D tuning, it just sounds better. And I think part of that is these pickups. These uh, mini humbuckers. They are a little bit brighter, I think, than regular humbuckers. And they're definitely articulate. They, you, can, you hear the notes really well. And uh, when you drop it down, everything stays defined and sounds good. I dig it. I think uh, a little history about these pickups. They were originally in Epiphone guitars. In the 60s, Epiphones uh, would come with these. And then when Gibson bought out Epiphone, they had a huge stockpile of these pickups. And I guess, uh, you know, this is routed for P90s, like the same size. And I guess what they would do is they would just put these in here. They came up with the mounting ring to make those fit in there. And they just started putting them in Les Pauls and they called them the Deluxe. I don't know that they really ever took off as being super popular. I know Pete Townsend used them. One of the guys in Thin Lizzy used them. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if it's the same as the pickups in the Firebirds that Neil Young took a Firebird pickup and put it in Old Black, his old... Uh, guitar. I don't know that those are the same. I think there's a little bit of a difference, but it's a similar sort of deal. One quick note is uh, Reggie Young played a 1972 Gold Top Deluxe. Not this one, but just like this one. He played it on Drift Away, Dobie Gray's Drift Away. You know, the Give Me the Beat Boys and Free My Soul. Want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away? That's Reggie Young playing that guitar part on there. And um, I actually asked him, you know, did you really play that, you know, Les Paul, Gold Top Deluxe? And he said, yeah. He said he thinks it might be the only, I think he said that Gibson gave it to him, I think. And he said it might be the only uh, session he ever did with a Gold Top Deluxe. But when you hear that, listen to it. And you can hear, I mean, it's Reggie Young. It's going to sound freaking amazing but you'll get an idea of what this could sound like in the right hands. I don't make it sound anything like Reggie Young. I do not have those skills as not many of us mortals do. Who else used the deluxe pickups that I'm not thinking about? Tell me in the comments. I'm sure there's plenty of people that I'm just not thinking of, but man, I really dig the sound. <laughs> This guitar plays great. It records really well. You can hear it on the solo to Detroit Steel. My buddy Tom Yutz played the uh, solo on there. If you want to go look that up, it you know it just sounds really good. And um, something about the pickup, the neck position really is articulate for when you play dirty on the neck pickup. You, know, you can really hear everything, and it's almost got that uh, somewhere inside of all the other stuff going on. You can hear that like a piano string sound, a little bit of that, nice clarity. It's got a little bit of, tiny bit of buckle rash. It's not perfect. It's worn down on the neck. The checking on here is just beautiful. I love it when gold tops start you know, cracking and they get the checking and the finish. It's got some of that and uh, it just looks really good. You can see a little bit of wear down here from from the strap and I don't know. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful old guitar that I thought about getting rid of 
because I wasn't using it. It was just sitting around. I wasn't using it. And I started thinking about, you know, maybe I can trade it for an old Martin, you know, or an old J45 or something that I might use more. I kept thinking about things that way. And I even loaned it to a couple friends who I know had a lot of guitars saying, hey, man, you, you dig it? Maybe we'll trade something. And I kept thinking that I would probably end up trading it. And it never happened. And uh, I'm kind of glad that it didn't because I, I appreciate it and I enjoy it. And it's been nice. Um, like I got it out today and when I started playing, you know, drop the tuning down. It just sounds different than my other guitars. And that's a nice thing. It starts immediately. I started thinking differently. I started reacting to it. And, you know, started coming up with song stuff and started writing a, a song on it. And that's what that's why you have a few guitars. If anybody ever asks you, why do you have so many guitars? It's like, you know, each one, if, if, you, if you're doing it right, I think, you have a few different guitars that do different things. When you pick one up, you start messing around and it pulls something different out of you. Especially if you haven't played it in a while. You can put one down that you've been playing a lot pick up a completely different sounding one and it forces you to play and think differently and i think that's good i'm a believer in that in the creative process you know not everybody can buy a ton of guitars but uh you know walk into a store and play around on something and see see if it makes you start thinking differently i think it probably will so those of you who are younger watching this you don't remember the days you didn't get to witness the days of being able to buy vintage Les Pauls for $500. And um, to be honest with you, the deluxes weren't that desirable, even when the prices started going up a little bit. And you'd see deals like this all the time. When I paid my roommate 500 bucks for this, it was worth more than that. And he cut me a break and a deal on it. And I appreciate that. And uh, But man, you just a few years earlier than that, you could find them all day long for that much money. And those were good days. I wish I would have bought a whole lot more of them. So everything seems to be original except for the tuners. I think the tuners have been changed out at one time. You can see on the back where there's a different shape. But I um, sent it to Glazer to have some work done. And they told me, I honestly don't remember everything they told me, but I believe everything else was original. And it when it got back, it just played so good. I mean, it was just... The action was too low. I was playing too fast and just noodling and not playing songs. And I went ahead and raised the action a little bit when I got it back. But um, they really did a great job. It's Glazer in Nashville. They do some amazing, amazing work. I thought about back when putting a Bigsby on this. I thought, man, I love when you see gold tops with Bigsby's on them. And uh, I really thought seriously about it. But the fact that... It's original except for the tuners, and you could switch that back really easily. That'd be really bad, man, if I went ahead. and You don't want to be the person who defaced you know, some vintage instrument. Once you do that, you can't go back. It's like an old house with beautiful woodwork, and then somebody comes through and paints all of that woodwork. You can't really go back. you know. And if you do, it's a lot of trouble, and it's just not going to be the same. So I'm not going to be that guy, and I'm glad that I never did it, and I'm not going to do it. And to be honest with you, the only thing that probably stopped me was money. If I had a bunch of money, I might have done something stupid. But I already have my other Les Paul with a Bigsby, and um, you know this one can remain intact. Does anybody out there have a Gold Top Deluxe? I think they reissued them at one time, but maybe you have, uh, you know, an older one, like a 72 like this. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I know a lot of people watching this know way more about guitars than I do. That's just a fact. That's the way life is, and it's the Internet. If you want to tell me something about this that I don't know, I'd love to hear about it. Give me a history lesson in the comments. Maybe we all can learn something. I'm not claiming to be the most knowledgeable person about guitars, but I really love old guitars, and I have quite a few of them. And I've been making videos about them just to show them to you guys and tell stories about them. And if you'd like to see any of those, just click on this playlist right up here in the corner, and um, you'll get to see a lot of those fun videos. But until then, I'll see you somewhere down the road. Much love to you.